Accessing the new financial section of your owner portal is easy. Simply log in and click financials in your sidebar. Once you're inside, the first thing you'll see is a list of all your transactions. Each transaction has a dollar amount tied to it and you can see if it's money coming into your Great Jones cash balance, like rental income, or money going out, like a maintenance charge. In the balance column, you can see your remaining balance after every transaction. You'll see that some of your transactions are highlighted in blue. These are owner distributions. These transactions represent any time money was paid to you via check or ePay from your Great Jones cash balance. Another thing to note is that some of your maintenance transactions will have downloadable invoices attached to them. To download an invoice and see more detail, simply click on the blue arrow in the description. This will automatically begin downloading your invoice at the bottom of your browser. Once complete, you can click on it to open. At the top of your page, you can see your current account balance and the total value of the deposits you hold. Another thing that you can do is filter your data. You can filter by address, transaction type, and date range. So if I wanted to see the rental income for one of my properties over the months of June and July, this is how I would set my filters. Once my filters are set, all I have to do is hit apply and I can see the exact data that I've requested. To clear my filters, all I have to do is click on the X in the filter bubbles. At the bottom of the page, I can adjust how many rows of data I want to see per page. I have the option to choose between 20, 50, or 250 rows per page. Additionally, I can click Export CSV to export every single row of data into a CSV file. The data will begin downloading just like your invoices and you can open once complete. Note that if you have any filters applied, your export will contain just the filtered data. Another tab that you have access to is your Payables tab. Here, you can see any bills associated with your account that have yet to be paid. For these bills, we will subtract the amount from your next month's rental income, or if the amount exceeds your rental income, we will request a contribution from you. The third tab that you can see is the Resident Deposits tab. Here, you can keep track of all the deposits you're holding for your tenants at the moment. With the new financial section, staying informed about your portfolio is easier than ever.